Hello everyone. I wish you a very happy new year to all of you and may this year be a great uh, year for your all your happiness and success. So, I wish you again a very happy new year. So, let's continue our series on Springwood Backend Course 2024. So, in the last video, we have discussed and uh, built the file service and it was working for us we can upload the file and we can serve the file on the web right so that much part is done now comes the part where we have to build the uh, operations for movies okay the movie entity so today we are going to do that so let's start by building of the first service which is a movie service So movie service it will be of type interface now here we will define the methods which are required but today we are going to cover two things first we are going to add the movie entity to the or movie data to the database and second we are going to fetch those things okay and this will be done along with the file handling that we have discussed yesterday okay so we will basically be dealing with the data the transfer of data between uh, the user and the db with the help of our movie dto class so we will say movie dto add movie and we will take a movie dto object from which will come from user and it will also come a multi part file okay so this is a method that we are going to implement second method will be again a movie dto and it will be just get movie and it will be based on a movie id okay so we have defined this method and the third method will be list of all the movies in the database so list of movie dto get all movies and that's it right so these are the three methods that in this video we are going to discuss and see how we can achieve it okay so let's create a implementation class for it so we will have movie service impl it will uh, implement movie service okay so let's implement all the methods here and annotate this class with service annotation okay so since we are going to deal this service layer is going to deal with the database so we need to bring in the the dependency for our uh, repository layer okay so we will say private final movie repository and movie repository we will make it a constructor parameter for constructor injection and now let's see how do we start doing with add movie thing now when we are trying to add movie we are getting two things first we are getting the data the movie dto object okay which is a kind of json right second we are getting the multi part file that is along with data we are also getting the file so we have to handle both of them right so let's start by handling file why file because once we upload the file once we upload the file then that uploading file will give us the name of the file right so first thing let's first write down the steps what we are going to do so first will be to upload the file then second step will be to set the value of field poster as of a file name so once we upload the file you can see here the upload file gives a file name right yesterday we have seen that so this file name we will set the we will set the value of poster in it 
right third point will be we need to now we are getting this as a movie dto object right but to save the data into database we have a movie repository which accepts a movie class object right so we need to map dto to movie object right map dto to movie object then fourth step will be to save the movie object so when we save the movie object it will return back the saved movie object the saved movie object okay and we will then now we are getting a saved movie object now we have to return a movie dto right but when we are returning the movie DTO, this time this movie DTO will be used as a response object, right? And if we see this movie DTO, all fields are okay, but this we have a, this posted URL, which is an extra field. So we need to generate this URL, right? So, so that when the user clicks on the URL, it, uh, it takes, it shows him the image, right? So we have to generate the URL. So generate the poster url and so it will be so we have to generate the poster url and then finally map movie object to dto object and return it right so this is the six steps in which we have to do so let's start by doing step by step. So first step is to upload the file, right? So let's upload the file. So before uploading, let's bring the file service into the picture uh, here. So file service and file service. So we have brought the file service into the scope. We will use file service dot upload file. Now we have to provide a path and file. So path again, we have to in the previous example in the controller we have seen that we have got the path from the environment variable so we'll just copy this environment variable and we'll bring this path here and we'll say path and the file we have got from the request right and it will throw a exception so this is what we got so it will give us a uploaded file right so we have got the uploaded file name so let's name it as uploaded file name okay now second step is to set the value of the field posted as file name so movie dto dot set poster as uploaded file name so this is because we have to ensure that the file name which we are uploading and the file name which is getting saved in database matches so when we are fetching the database, it would be easier to fetch the file also along with it, right? You will see in a in some time that it is important to do this. Okay. Now next is to map the DTO object to movie object. So we need to create a movie object. Movie equal to new movie. Uh, if we come to movie object. Okay, we have all our constructors, so we can now create a constructor here. So we will say movie DTO dot get movie ID, movie DTO dot get title, movie DTO dot get director, movie DTO dot get studio, movie DTO dot get movie cast. Let me once see in what order it should be. So director studio cast release year and poster. Okay. Movie cast, then movie DTO dot release year and finally movie DTO dot poster. Okay. So we have created this movie object. Next is to save the movie object. So we will use the movie repository to do this. So movie repository dot save and we will save this movie object. Now it will return a saved movie object. So we will have saved movie. Okay. So we have got the hold of the 
movie object that we have actually saved in the database. Now, before we generate a response, we should now need a poster URL. Now to generate the poster URL, look, here in the file controller, if you come, then you see that using this uh, mapping, using this uh, controller method, we were able to serve the file on the web, right? So we need the whole complete URL, HTTP localhost 8080 slash, uh, you can say this file and then slash file name, right? So these things we need to generate the URL. So our base URL is HTTP localhost 8080, right? So we will include that in as a environment variable, okay? So we will say HTTP slash slash localhost 8080, right? So this is our base URL which we are saving here. Now the reason why we are putting it in the YML file is if we are going to deploy on another server, we can change the parameter and that will de detect it from there. There is a more efficient way which we will discuss later. But for now, we are here to implement this way so that we can confirm that, okay, everything is working fine. So there are multiple ways to, to do this so that automatic base URL generation is there. But for now, we are taking this approach of putting it into the YML file. Okay. So since we are putting it into the YML file, we need to retrieve it. So in the similar way, in the similar way, we will say string base URL and at value dollar base dot URL. Okay. So this will bring the base URL value for us, right? Now we need to generate our poster URL. So poster URL equal to now first base URL is required. After that, we have a file that is a, uh, after that we have to append it to all the requests. This URL is added. Okay. And then we need a file name. So file name we will get by here uploaded file name, right? So uploaded file name. So we have now generated the poster URL also. Now we are ready to generate a response. So movie DTO, we will name it as response equal to new movie DTO. And in the similar way, the way we have generated this, we will generate this. Okay. So save movie dot get movie id save movie dot get title save movie dot get director save movie dot get studio save movie dot get movie cast save movie dot get release here uh, once you confirm if this is also in the same order so a movie cast release year poster and poster url okay movie cast release year poster and poster url okay so now we have formed a response object in the form of a movie detail object now we will return this response object from here so this is done for us right now the next step involves to set up our controller okay so let's set up a controller and check if this is working or not so movie controller okay let's set up it as rest controller at request mapping and uh, the base points which will be applicable for all will be api of version one and we will name as movie okay now movie controller will need the movie service so private final movie service movie service and this is here now let's now create a handler which will handle the request for adding the movie to the database so at post mapping 
slash add movie okay we will have public a response entity movie dto and then we will say add movie handler now in the add movie handler we need two things one is the actual object and second is the multi-part file now when we are dealing when we are taking a request okay in which file is also involved and in which the data the json data is also involved in that case we need to do we use a request part okay rather than a request body the first thing is that so we are using a request part so first request part can take a multi-part file uh, multi-part file okay now second request part will have the data but the thing is the request part if we pass an object it is will not be possible why i show you here if you come to the body and the form data it asks for a key so we can give a key that is not a problem but here either text is available or file is available so text means we have to pass a string right so something like we have to pass like movie detail as a string we have to pass right then only it, it will work now since if we are passing as a string and if we want to save the object we need to convert this uh, string into a json okay so how do we do that so we need to create a private method which will do this conversion for us okay so let's create a private method which will do this conversion for us so let's create a private method which will return us a movie object and it will convert we will say convert to movie dto and it will take a string movie dto object okay so first we need to create a new movie dto object first of all oh, wait movie dto uh, let make it as movie dto object okay new movie dto so we have created one object of it the spring web provide a jackson dependency an object mapper okay so using that we can do it so we will use an object mapper so object mapper object mapper equal to new object mapper and then we will say object mapper dot there is a uh, method name as read value okay so it will read the value from movie detail object the string and to which class we want to map it so we it want to map to dto dot class okay so it throws an exception so json processing exception so it will give an exception if this object is the string cannot be converted to the dto class okay and simply then we have uh, we will just introduce a object or rather than taking an object we will say movie dto equal to this and return it or uh, this can just be null maybe initially or you can just declare it it's fine the better way will be to just define it here okay yeah this works or maybe you can directly return this also so it is giving us the hint of inline variable so just return this one so it, this one will return a movie detail object right so this is the important thing that you need to remember that whenever you are dealing with a file object as well as a json object then you cannot just pass the json as an object you can uh, you need to take it as a string but you need to convert that string into a into the class object because then only you can interact with your service layer so this is the way how you convert a string to a json right now we can work easily so what we will say of uh, convert to movie movie dto add first to add the signature and uh, 
introduce a local variable so convert it to or we can just say dto okay now this has a dto thing so simply return a new uh, response entity call the movie service so movie service dot add movie and return the dto and the file you have okay and we have to pass a http status so http status dot created okay so this add movie also throws an exception so let's also throw an exception io exception so we have created a controller for adding them now let's check whether this is working or not okay so i hope everything would work as expected yeah everything is fine so if there will be any error we will resolve it but let's verify it so let run the project so it's running now everything is okay it has started with no errors that's perfectly fine so let's add api slash v1 slash movie and uh, what else add movie okay movie api v1 movie and slash add movie okay slash add movie okay it is of type post uh, body is form data first thing we will pass a file and it will be of type file so let's select some files so i've taken some movie objects okay uh, i have pictures so let's take a uh, this one okay and uh, in infinity war image second key will be uh, here we are passing the key as movie dt okay so let's copy this and paste this key here now in the text we have to pass it as a json though it will be treated as a string but it should be in the format of json so i'll tell you we have a i have created this uh, json object so in the project section there will be a scratches and consoles so here you can create the new scratch files these these are not part of your project structure so don't worry you can create it separately and it helps you in creating the proper json files within the intellij idea right so just copy paste this uh, curly brackets okay this whole data so now you see that this is this uh, movie id i have given it as one it is not required because you can give it anything it will work because it will be auto generated okay and poster and poster url is the thing that we are adding the values of it so any value you can give it doesn't matter okay it should not be null or blank but yeah you can give it any value because at the end of the day we are only setting up the value for poster and poster url okay and for movie id it is getting auto generated so let's copy this and here just paste it okay so we have copied and pasted here all is set post now let's send the request and you can see here we have got 201 created now if you see the response we have got movie id 1 title avenger and all these things that we wanted but you see here in the response we have got a poster url now let's see if the url works so if we control click on hit okay it is not wait if you copy this url here and come to the google and okay uh, hold on okay if you do this see we are able to serve the image on the web right so it's working perfectly let's try to add one more so this time let's take another one maybe end game okay and for the data for this will be come from here uh, just delete this and add the new json here and again send it so the second object we have created with this we have generated the url for serving the file also and see we are able to serve it on the web right 
Now if we go to the database and we refresh it so we can see our data is coming here right so we are putting the posters here release here studio and title right so our data is getting saved into the database if we come to our project then we can see a new directory is formed and here are the our images are getting uploaded here on the back end right so it's working perfectly fine now the second thing we have to do is to get the movie okay by id so we will pass a movie id in the url as a path variable and it will check in the database for the record and it will fetch it so the first step we will define is to check the data in db and if exists fetch the data of a given id okay second step will be now again we have to give a movie detail response so we need to generate poster url so generate poster url and third is map to movie dto object and return okay these are the three main steps that we have to perform so for checking it we will use movie repository dot find by id okay and we will pass our movie id this gives us an optional so to get the value from the optional we use or else throw exception so if the movie is not found we want to throw an exception so for now we will throw the exception but once we learn exception handling we will handle the exception and display proper messages rather than displaying the whole exception thing so we will just say use a lambda uh, runtime exception movie not found okay simply that and uh, it will give us a movie object perfect now we need to generate poster url so we have already done this here so let's just take this now for uh, getting the file name we will use the movie object so movie dot get poster okay so the value of the poster that, that we are getting from the movie object is saved in the database and in the database we are saving the file name only right so we will get the file name from here and now we have to map it to the movie object right so we will use this uh, thing as a so we'll just copy paste and just change the movie to movie okay that's it so once you understand the logic most of the things are this uh, again and again it's uh, repeating only okay so you just need to understand the basic concepts fundamental concept that how a particular thing is done after that you can easily do all those things right and then we can return our response so we have got this now let's uh, implement this method also so for this it's it will give us first thing it is to fetch all data from db so we will get a list of movies okay now then we have to iterate through the list okay we have to iterate through the list and then we have to generate the poster url for each of them iterate through the list generate poster url for each movie object and map to movie dto object okay so let's see how we will do it okay so first thing is we will do movie repository dot find all now this method gives us all the records so it will give us all the movies here right now we have to iterate through the list and generate poster url for each movie object but we have to return a list of movie dto right so first we will create a list of movie dto uh, so movie dto 
movie details equal to new array list all right okay save for dictionary don't want any grammatical letters okay now we have to iterate through the iterate through the whole list so we will use a for loop for this so we will say movie movie movies so this is a for each loop that we are using now for each of them we will have to generate the posted url so again that it will be logic will be same so just take from here and put it here okay now we have to once we have generated posted url for a particular movie we have to create a movie object movie dt object for that so again the same thing we have to create this so just paste it here and one more step we have to do is movie details dot add we will add this response okay okay let's name it as movie detail and it makes more sense right and we will return movie details so i hope you have understood first we are getting all the list of movies from the database then we are creating a new a new empty list then we are iterating the movies list that we are getting from the database and for each of the each of them we are generating a poster url for them for each object and then we are creating a new movie detail object for each movie for the each corresponding movie object and adding it to the list and uh, returning the list now we will implement this in the movie controller so our second method will be at get mapping now here we have till api v1 movie or what we need is a movie id so we will take it as path variable then we will say public response entity and then we will say movie detail get movie handler okay so we will say add path variable and it will be of type integer so integer movie id perfect simply we have to do is response entity dot ok call movie service method movie service dot get movie pass the movie id and that's it so this is the method we have generated for getting one single movie based on the movie id and second one will be uh, slash we will say all okay so this will have public response entity and it will contain list of movie detail and we will have get all movies handler it will have no, no parameter into it so we will just return again the same response entity dot ok movie service dot get all so controller is a uh, kind of very easy to build because we just have to call the service layer the main logic that we have to focus is on service layer everything has to be done in the service layer right so we have created all these three uh, handlers now let's test whether this get methods are working or not okay so without any error our application has started now if you see the database the for the movie ids are one and two okay so let's go to the postman okay and here so we will have api slash v1 slash movie slash one okay so this is the url we are generating right let's cross verify once api slash v1 slash and we are passing a movie id right perfect so i am passing the movie id let's see if it's working so if i send see it has fetched the data for us with the poster url we have got also so you can click on this to get the image right let's try with two also so it is also working perfectly now let's do 
all so we expect to get the list of all movies so send it okay so first movie and second movie two only movies we have added so we have we are getting all those things so you can add more movies into it try with these apis as well as experiment more on your own okay so that's all for this video we have uh, implemented the adding to the database as well as to fetch the data from the database and we have also included in integrated the file service into it right so that much is working fine in the next video we are going to do the update and delete part of this thing right and we'll see how we can do it you can try it on your own it would be really helpful to do do it so i'll see you in the next one till then bye bye